Hello. Hello. You should have told me that we could do that. Oh, hold on. One, two, three. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to the New York Nerd Show. Go ahead. Happy Halloween. Yes. We're not just dressed like this for fun. I mean, we are, but, yeah, you know. Right. Oh, wait, hold Halloween. on. Oh, yes. We got to be full not, view. So we can't see you at all. Yes. So we're doing Blind Peg Bonanza where we're blind because we're not wearing our glasses. No. So, um, These are obviously, great we're the Adam costumes. family. Monsters? Yeah, what? Is this monsters? You're joking, right? Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm um, what? I'm Herman Munster. Remember, I look like you're very. It's okay. It's a joke. Well, it's not funny. We're not the monsters. I know we're the Adams family. And then there's cousin it. Oh, he's nope. he's camera shy. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on. Ooh, there he is. There we go. You just did that right at his own. Watching. There we go. Yep. Yay! Hi, cousin. It. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> and he's back to sleep. He's gonna leave our leave us now. So we're gonna do blind bag bonanza from one of the um, wild calls that we did recently. Yep. And we got this um, box oh, that thing thing is sharing for us. Oh wait, off camera. Here. There you go. Ooh, good job, thing. Thank good you, job. thing. Yes. All right. So, yeah, this is a part of Funko. I swear Funko does everything nowadays, quite honestly. If it's yes. plastic, it's made by Funko. Mm -hmm. This is a part of their retro collection, and there's a variety of different possible 80s-themed uh, toys. Mm -hmm. So I'll show all of them. Already we're boring you. Uh, you know. So we have the four Geo Jogas on the top, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Uh, this was Monster in My Pocket, you told me, right? My Pet Monster. Oh, My Pet Monster. Yeah. Then we've got uh, Glowworm. Stretch Armstrong, which I always wanted and never owned one, but they didn't like make girl versions. Yeah, so. I had a WWF Bret Hart one when mm. I was younger. Operation guy, who I feel like needs some underpants. And the Play-Doh guy, which I think is cute and you don't think we need. I don't know what that guy is. I recognize him, but I don't really know the what he is. The My Pet Monster guy. I know you keep telling me yeah, what yeah. he is, but I recognize him from something, but I never had him. I never saw anything with it. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I wanted one as a kid, but... I and then I don't care for G.I. Joe. So I'd be happy with any of these, and then maybe the, I'm not, I think that the Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head are, like, cute, but I don't feel like we need them because we have a Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, so, like, yeah, it's true. I don't need a little Funko Pop of it. So if you want to start unwrapping that, I'm going to just plug back in the, uh, the charger. So let's see, the, when you look at these, um, it actually, so the, these always show you, like, the, um, the statistics, like, the possibilities of getting each character. Oh, yeah. So what are the hardest It looks ones like the Play-Doh guy is the hardest with oh. one out of 72. And you don't see too much stuff with him on it. No, right? no, not at all. Um, That's why I think he would be cool to have. Um, Shipwreck, Mr. Potato Head, and the Glowworm are the most common with one out of six. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't so. mind Glowworm. He's cute. What's Shipwreck? He's the, uh, he's the Navy G.I. Joe guy. Oh, okay. So... I think, right. I, I think it's shipwreck, but maybe I it's, have no idea. Oh no, shipwreck's all the way to the right. He has the parrot. Oh, he has a parrot. Yeah, I don't know who the uh, Ooh, guy in the parrot. Part. Yeah, I don't know who the other guy is. Mm, maybe it's just GI Joe with a gun. It could be. It could be good old Joe himself. So yeah, there's a total of twelve. We got it for free. If you uh, saw that one episode where we had a five dollar coupon because we spent we, like seven thousand no, dollars, and no. it was like you spent. I don't even know why we how we got the coupon. He he was like, "Oh, you have this one on your uh, and your on your receipt, and you have to use it like from your receipt doesn't go on your account." And so yeah. we we use it on this. So yeah, I just turned around and grabbed this so we wouldn't forget. Yeah. And I it's was four ninety nine, so we got it for free. Oh wait, wait. So let's guess. Oh, oh, wait. No. Can well, you then, feel this at home, everybody? I know. I can tell that they Feel the curves. I can't 100% tell. Wait. I, mean, I haven't seen what any of these look like officially like, out of the box. Here, I'll let you try it I out. I why I yawned only on the show. Because you like to torture me. I think I know. Maybe I think I know who it is. All right. Whoever this has a vibe... You know who I think it is? I think it's the Play-Doh guy. No, 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 no. No, he doesn't have a visor. I was thinking it was Mrs. Potato Head, but she has, like, little flowers on the top and her purse. I don't feel that. 
But I felt like maybe... No, I know exactly who it is. Who do you think it it's is? It's the guy that I didn't know who the heck he was. But I don't even feel the gun. Yeah, it's in this watch. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I feel it now. It's him. It's the yeah, G.I. Right. Joe guy. It's weird because it doesn't look like he has a lip, lip on his hat, but I guess I can see it now, so... That's sad. Yeah, I know. Well, maybe it's worth something that you can sell it online. Bum, 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 bum. Joe, you said you were fine with the G.I. Joe guy. Not this one, though. I don't even know what he's named. Well, that's but, that wasn't what you stipulated at the front. Well, you know yeah. what? Guess what? It's my action figure right now. <laughs> if I was in the military, has your matching mustache. Yeah, so for Movember. Back, he has a little uh, backpack and his little gun, and he's nice and serious looking. A little two grenades, cute. So yeah, I don't know who the heck this guy is, but yeah, you know what's funny? Like, there's one Gabe stop. Stop yawning. You can't help it. You can't help I don't do it on purpose. I don't believe you. Okay. But anyway, there was one GameStop that was located in Brooklyn. Um, God, maybe two, three years ago that we saw all their blind bag toys, they actually had opened, and they just oh, yeah. had them hanging on pegs. Oh, no. We were at a store once that they had, like, this three-tiered case, and they had blind packs that were open, and you could trade in one oh, for, yeah, like, a the, dollar. Yeah. That yep. you didn't want if it was the same line, or you they were discounted, I think, because they were open, which is or no, they were, like they in were Boston, priced, they were priced per the thing, but you got like a dollar off plus like minus the four dollars you spend on the game or the, yeah, the, toy, the toy, I should say. Uh, so that way you can like if it was a fifteen dollar one, then you'd get you know the six dollars off. I mean, it's a good idea, I yeah, think I it's pretty it clever because but- they're making money on that, you know, in terms of whatever they pay for wholesale, right. If they, if somebody doesn't want a fifteen dollars figure, I doubt they're giving you the fifteen dollars. It's they're like, oh, you can trade it in for the five dollars, right. basically. People are gonna buy them too because like people collect these a lot of times. They just want you the whole get the set. complete thing, yeah. yeah. So definitely. So if you want this, just trade it in yes. to us. And uh, well, I don't know what it goes for, so you have to do that research. So right. that was our blind bag bonanza. I'm surprised they don't have more stuff around, but I couldn't find. Uh, yeah, we have tons other of stuff. And unopened but... boxes. So the other thing that we have, so I went grocery, well, I didn't go real grocery shopping. I still need to buy the stuff in the Blue Apron stuff. And for the Polish food. And the Polish food, yes. Um, But I actually- But ran- we got eggs today. I did. I ran to the grocery store to get like five things for our immediate family. We did like a- Like a big CD. Well, yeah, we did a big CD, but we did, that's what I was going to say. Oh. We, we did a little like family gathering with my immediate family for Halloween. Uh, costumes were suggested- my niece went all out. She had the full makeup or whatever. Your sister did too, actually. She had the makeup on? No. She had the little head bop thingies. So I think that you were inside. Oh. So what she... she when she first came, she had it on, right? Well, no she one. had eyebrows. She had... Um, the, oh, it was... The whole but there were glasses that you stuck on. They weren't like... Well, do you know who she was? No. She was your mother. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that was the costume. So... She said that? Yeah. I didn't know yeah. realize that. Anyway, my father didn't really dress up. My mom... No, no, he did. He told me that he was oh, a scared man. He, was, he, uh, he told. He said that he was a delivery guy who just hung around. Oh, he, I didn't, he told me he was a scared man. And then we went all out. And then we showed Gizmo, if you want to hold him up for a second again, if he will let us. We, he was cousin It. And then we had... Oh, no, he was cousin... Yeah. He's Thing. Thing. No, was, no, he's cousin It. It. And then we had the Thing with Things us, right too. Things right there. So... He, it was he, fun. Yeah. I feel like it was a lot of time and effort for a small family get together. But you know, when we go all out, we yeah. go all out. Well, now we're sharing and, it with the world. Yes, and I actually only did half my makeup because I was wearing a mask, so I only did this much. And then when I got home, I put the rest on. But it's because I had a mask that had lips, so it was perfect. <laughs> yeah, as I said, like it, this costume actually worked out pretty easily too because. Um, Except for the fact that you had an itchy lip for a week. Oh, it was terrible. Because of the mustache. Um, I can't wait till Halloween's over and you can shave it off. I'm not a fan of mustaches. Nor am I. And, like, I don't like using stuff in my hair anymore, so <laughs> I'm using this, like, gel. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, you look like a, a, a used car salesman with the slicked hair. I could sell you a car. I want it to be Wednesday, which I think before I go to bed, I might do Wednesday look, just so that I really had the white paint on and then i won't do the red lips but i'll have my hair braided because my hair is so long my quarantine hair that i don't wouldn't normally have my hair this long to be able to do the two braids can you braid my hair and too? initially i wanted to be wednesday but i had a lot of feedback that if i was wednesday it would be creepy if all that pat was gomez 
Yes. So we were like, oh, maybe he could be faster, but then he'd have to get like a bald cap. That seems like a lot of work. Well, then and I'd still be the uncle, which is just as creepy, really. Yeah. Or if you were Pugsley, we'd be siblings. Is that creepy? I guess. No matter what, everything would have been creepy, <laughs> so, except for the husband. Some the people said I was overthinking it, and then some people were like, no, that's creepy. So then I was like, I guess I'm going to be Morticia. But luckily, I already had a dress, and then I bought this fabric at uh, Joanne's Fabric. Yeah. So. No, it came out perfect. And this I already owned. I mean, it's just a suit, yeah. bow tie, and a shirt. So and it took me like maybe maybe a week to grow the mustache. I know and... you're such a manly man. Week. Ow. Got it. Yeah. I want. I want to. Well, Gizmo might be. He's grumpy. He's grumpy. Right he now. started um, chemotherapy on Friday for the first time. Yep. And we got four weeks of that uh, every week, and then every other week for four dosages. Doses. Yeah. Right. However you want to look and at then it, yeah. also he's taking like a steroid. He's getting buff. daily. Yes. So. He's a little cranky right now, but understandably yeah, for sure. So we did one blind bag bonanza. We, we got did. a GI Joe dude from the Funko set. Yes. And now, now he doesn't know. So all that Pat, when I went to the grocery store, I think I kind of like went off on tangents here. Yes. When I went to the grocery store, they have a uh, card machine. What do you call them? Exactly. A that. vending machine. Vending machine. Yeah. A card, a card vending, vending machine. machine. So uh, I. When they have them in stock, I'll pick up some different cards. And they're super and so, cheap. That's the thing is that yeah. the guy that runs them all in the area, like he'll charge like $5 for like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, but mm -hmm. we don't care. Everything else is like a buck. Mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter what it is. So um, so you're going to open up. Uh, the first one I got here is Garbage Pail Kids Battle of the Bands. So you collect Garbage Pail Kids, yep. right? So you could open that up and we can show what we got. Yeah, the Garbage Pail Kids. It's funny, like, people don't realize that it's almost never gone away since the 80s. Mm. It's just they'll, they'll go away for maybe, like, a year or two, and then they'll come in with, like, a new one. Uh, but it hasn't been until, like, the last, like, three years where there actually has been quite the boom. Um, get hmm. uh, Going bigger on them. I Oh, you know, it's maybe a security card. Let me see. Okay, oh. yeah. Got excited because there's some like collectible cards within them, like different sets, and I never seem to ever find like sketch cards and plates, mm. things like that. So let's see. Well, you got to show them. Oh, I'm going to look at them yourself. All right. So I got Oozing Ozzy. And the thing is, so these are actually, uh, once it came out about two years ago, which these ones are, they had different uh, sub series. And since these are all music, they're basically part of like new age, rap, whatever it might be. So, again, this is from the metal set. This mm -hmm. is uh, Oozing Ozzy. Obviously, Ozzy Osbourne take off of when he bit the bat. Now, he's getting bitten he's by a bat. 3A. Um, yeah, they have two metal. versions of the, these two. This is uh, Megaseth. I'm assuming from Megadeth. I'm not too familiar with that band. This one's a pop sticker, 18A. This is an uh, Arianda, awful Arianda. Arianda, like Arianda Grande going mm -hmm. with like, the Starbucks kind of look. I, had not, I don't have this one yet. The other two, I believe, I still I do. Classic rock. This one is Frank Zappa, uh, basically Freaky Fred. I'm not. Sh I know I had this card, but I'm not sure if I have this one. The 13A might be a different. Uh, are these? Did they say stickers? Because they're actually stickers. Yeah, they are. Oh. Yeah, you peel okay. them off on the back. Rap and R and B. Yep, Beastie Boyd. This is one of the uh, the the booger or green um, borders. Every there's nine different colors. Some people go for the full rainbow. Um, so these ones are kind of like chase cards to some degree. Another rap and R&B. And this one is um, Bruno Mars. So this is Mars Attacks. I, I have Bruno Martian. I don't think I have Mars Attacks. Oh, good. New Wave and Punk. This one right here is, uh, oh, The Who, uh, Pierce Paul. Right there. I can't remember what uh, Paul's last name is, but I think it's going by. I think it's The Who. I don't get this one, like what it, why their heads are being cut off. But another New Wave and Punk. Uh, this is their heads are being whipped off because Devo was the name of Whip It. That was oh, their biggest song. Okay. So I don't have this card. I don't believe oh, either. Good. So I have to go through. I have a lot of these because the um, the Battle of Bands was actually the first set that we were seeing at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And again, they're a dollar a piece. So we would just buy a bunch. A bunch. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not going to go through all the ones I purchased. Okay. But we will go through two more packs of different things so okay. this one you actually knew about because i gave it to you uh, oh, yeah. earlier today but wacky packages so it's the same makers right mm -hmm. yep. um wacky packages go to the movies from 2018 so can you talk about what these are yeah uh so wacky packages i believe the original wacky packages came out 
even before Garbage Pail Kids, um, back in the eighties. Could be really? wrong. Yeah. Yeah, um, could be wrong. <laughs> You're making stuff up. Like no, I know, but <laughs> we'll I'm pretty to, sure that we'll they have did. To that. No yawning. If that, if that, at the same time, they're very close, um, in in proximity. But basically, wacky packages, just like Garbage Pail Kids, has been consistent throughout the times. Uh, the big difference is that these are straight parodies. Um, almost like Mad Magazine. We missed the drawing by um, two years. Oh man, no free, uh, no free prize. What is the prize for these? Uh, it says that basically there's um, base parallels. I don't know what that means. Silver, red, gold. Oh, that's that's like this. Sorry, the perimeter thing was. Yeah, the border. That's oh, okay. For wacky packages, that's basically what this is, but for um, uh, that one basically for, for wacky company. packages printed. Printing plate, an the, artist autograph, sketch card, panoramic sketch card, and a classic film. Yeah, basically the same idea as this. Like the sketch cards are exactly what it sounds like. They're autographed. I'm sorry. The sketch cards are literally like hand pencil drawing. hand drawing yeah. ones. They're typically not colored that I've seen. Uh, the plates are actual metal plates that they would use to stamp the cards on a card. Um, those ones seem to be worth the most, but again, I've never seen one other than like in the collectors groups and on eBay. Now you told me not to worry about getting these, but then you changed your mind. And now he's not only collecting garbage pail kids, but also, also wacky package cards. It basically boils down to, I'm not worried about getting the wacky packages at a normal store where they're like four or five bucks a pack. Mm -hmm. But when they're at a grocery store and if I'm in the mood, I just want <laughs> Want to chuckle? They're, I'll just grab them. They're already like organized in the same thing. Like the the garbage pail kids were all mixed up with their genres, um, and I put them in order for you to do. And then he's hiding his yawning. Oh, uh, well, these ones are already it. already separated, so they I kind of like that. And they are also stickers, which is weird to me. Like, why are they all stickers? Well, just garbage pail kids always were. Um, I don't remember the. I don't. Re I never realized that they were stickers. I thought oh, they yeah. were just cards that you collected. No, because it like, was like a special thing for them to have. Like I thought they had a perforated cutout around. They did. Oh, yeah, that's the one thing. So now the most current garbage bell kids, like from like the back to school series, um, they actually went back and they. You saw this maybe in the previous video. They actually are more like the old school ones where yeah, the the, the stickers like perforated mm -hmm. on the art side. More expensive. What do you mean to do that? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. But that's that makes it more vintage. I mean, I prefer mm. it that way. I think it's cool. You know, it looks better. Yeah. And right, the so, backs are more themed, not just like this. With the, yeah, they had like you built like a little puzzle, right? Yeah, a little puzzle like that. like uh, wanted cards or like you know like profiles or comic books. Uh, they started doing that again. So like, I think it's a really cool. I thing. never got into garbage pail kids though because I was like, these are gross, and they're making fun of cabbage patch dolls, and I really like my cabbage patch dolls. She's a girl. Hmm. Yes, I didn't like the booger jokes and the heart jokes. No. All right, so the first one up is Fantasy Film Sticker, three of five. All right, so this one right here is... Uh, Fantastic, the spray. I don't know what that is. <laughs> All right, let me see. Beasts and how to clean them. It's some guy Oh. Um, oh, Fantastic Beast. Fantastic Beast Shines and like uh, where to find them. It's like the offshoot from the Harry Potter universe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then we've got small screen stickers, one of 20. This is ready. Oh, my Lord. What? Yes. Gobums? It's like, like Gobots. Go and what did it say? Oh, man. Rusty robots that spare, that spare change into trash cans. And there's a wino robot. Oh, that is fantastic. And it says, spare a dime for a cup of oil. So you could talk about the whole. I never heard of GoBots until you told me about them. So it basically was the um, head-to-head -head competitor of Transformers. Transformers yes, and um, you bet on the wrong boat. I did when I was a kid. Well, wrong horse. My, my parents bet on the wrong horse. No, but it no, was because it was cheaper. It was. They were they were cheaper. But oh man, a friend of mine's really into Transformers, and yeah, they're maybe a Tonka. Yeah. Uh, I love this. This is actually one of my favorite cards I've ever seen. That's so mm. cool. I'm going to have to show a friend of mine this for sure. Or maybe he's watching right now. Mm. Love it. That's so cool. And thank you, Funky Boys, for joining us. And Thanks and, for the compliment and the nice costume. Yeah, and what the schmeck. Yeah, thanks. A, I don't know what that means. A quad. Oh, a, a quarantine, quarantine couple, couple would like to join. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, so, thank you. Another comment on uh, our costumes. Appreciate it. Yeah. I'm happy that we're like 
<laughs> put more, we put this much effort into it. And I mean, not that I don't love my family, but there was four of us, four of them. Well, I <laughs> teach as well. And so we I did, did do a this, video for my class. But nobody knew who he was. <laughs> so, so somebody thought I was slappy from the ghost bumps movies. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but she didn't know the name was slappy. What's scary to me is that you knew the name was slappy. Right. She's like, you're that guy from ghost goosebumps. And I'm like, Oh, like the, uh, the puppet guy and you're like slappy i'm like oh right right slappy. i got slappy i also got the puppet from saw uh jigsaw or whatever and i'm like you don't even have like the i'm just the i don't know if it was the bow tie i don't know what it was but mm -hmm. i did not get adam's family but as yes. soon as but when I, we left our house yeah. to go over to my parents i wasn't dressed up yet i had like my like whatever sweats on and my hair up and but i was driving like yeah this. he was driving with the costume and, and it was funny there was a little girl dressed as wednesday and i'm like i think she's wednesday and uh, the mom was dressed like Gomez and the father was just like Marti Morticia. Yep. Uh, and they were pushing a stroller and I'm assuming the baby was either Pugsley or the baby maybe from Adam's family too. We didn't, we didn't see her driving, but he pulls, he pulls his window down or whatever. And he's like, nice costumes. So it was just funny. No, he's not grandpa Munster. He did make a joke that he was uh, grandpa Munster, but he is from the Adams family, Gomez, the father and I'm um, the mother of uh, right. Morticia. And then our dog, get, grab him. We got okay. people who are chatting with us. So we're going to torture him All right, him come here, Gizmo. Let's get come tortured. On, oh. He is cousin oh, he's... Thing. No, cousin It. Cousin It? I no, get yeah. confused. Thing's around here somewhere, yes. but. So he's supposed to be our cousin It. Look at that I smile. I know. I mean, come on, look at that smile. He costumes, poor puppy. All pictures that I took of him, he looks so depressed. All right, we'll stop torturing it's him. Yeah, I, I don't have my fencing sword. Yes, and then there's. No trains either. Cousin. No, he's not a cousin. Thing. Thing. Yes, Can't. there's I'm thing. So it's too late at night for me. So anyway. All, all right. right. So, so we did, uh, we're going through wacky packages. Not the right one. I don't <laughs> even know what the thing went. We're mixed up. Next is action film sticker. 13 of 20. All right. Oops, so that one right one. there. Oh, there is um, Atomic Blonde Fireballs. I do have, Bells, I do have that one. Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm guessing it's Atomic Blonde, but I actually don't know what this one is from. Well, um, again, I'm assuming from? it's Atomic Blonde. I don't know. Yeah. Fire Bells. Oh, I thought that they right. were something else that they, is questionable. They but, still anyway. do look like something else is questionable. <laughs> so next up, we have Animated Film Sticker. Uh, oh, that's from Legos. Ninjago. It, it said a Ninjago. Ninjago looks like it's What's a... weird is I thought these were all going to be retro, but they're not really. Well, yeah, it's kind of interesting because the packaging also alludes to the fact that they might be all horror. Like, yeah. they're like Michael Myers is on it. Um, you have the package? No, I don't have oh, the package. It's somewhere. But it's got Michael Myers on There's it. There's somebody it says, who wants a Ninjago. <laughs> the game on PlayStation 4, is, I believe, it's still free. It was earlier in the in the uh, pandemic, and it's not bad. It's actually uh, pretty fun. Yeah, any of the Lego games are yeah. pretty amusing. All right, next up we got animated oh, film. Nice. Oh, there you go, uh, Morticia. Th yes. There's your booger fun. Um, Pickable me. Yes, making a about a nose that grew and grew and grew. Mm. Get oh, it? His name is Grew. Yeah, and the boogers grew. Why is it Grew? G R U E. I don't know. Like glue? I don't get it. Perhaps. And the the booger <laughs> for some reason has yes. eyeballs. Well, it's a minion probably, but it's supposed to be a minion. See the little like uh, goggles. Minion. Yeah. Yes, of course. Wonderful. All right, another animated film sticker. Mr. Peanutman, did he have a movie? No, it's just it. I guess because it's a dessert, or not dessert, a, a snack for movies. I've plastered never seen peanuts. peanuts at the movies. You you blockhead, try a plastered peanut. Are they making a joke about Charlie Brown because it said blockhead? You know what? I think they are because the, they're the peanuts. Oh, right there. Yeah. And they're the peanuts. On the side, they're all the peanuts cut out and uh, made out of peanuts. And obviously his costume's got the little zigzag black line. Uh, I didn't notice that, yes. See, that's Warning, the thinker. Warning, don't drink. Oh, and draw. I thought it said don't drink and drive. <laughs> no, no, that that's okay. I would okay. have a real message. Blockhead is a Minecraft term also. Well, yeah. It was, yeah. It's Blockheads and Gumby, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. yeah but I think Blockheads is basically right. it's an idiot. This is sci-fi film sticker, 27 of 30. Obviously um, a rampage. Uh, a spam spam page. page. That's pretty... Uh, What's the tagline say? Oh, uh, let's see. Causing mass destruction to your stomach. Oh. Yes. Uh, Bitter Ritz is a big fan of spam. Uh, yes. 
He's just fam. Fam of Yeah, you know. Anyway, and this is the last one. Sci-fi film sticker five of 30. Ooh, Star Trek joke. No, no. Star Trek. I know. It's Phaser's crazy. set to stink. Recycling this trash is highly illogical. Very nice. <laughs> so, the people making these little cards are really smart guys. Must work at NASA. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure. They're great at puns and uh, booger jokes. Yeah, like some of these are like... What's this one? Have you ever had the Garbage Pail Boys? Uh, garbage Pail Kids, but at the same time, maybe no, that, that, that like could be a like joke? a group or like a... Well, I'm guessing it's the... um, What's the group? Something Boys. I the Fat know. Boys? No. Beastie Boys? Yes. Thank you. Maybe it was a joke on the Beastie Boys? I don't know. Or are you talking about the Garbage Pail Kids, which, yes... We actually just opened a pack of them from the Battle of the Bands, if you're talking about them. Yeah, we, we have a bunch of uh, Garbage Folk kids over here. Oh, they're a boy band from... Oh, wait. From are? Japan. Oh, Garbage Pail... Oh, we'll have to look that up. We'll have to look them up. Yeah, yeah definitely. I've never heard of them. We're learning new things. Ah, uh, that's what we do. That's what yes. Twitch is for, is for educating the world. Thank you for uh, teaching us. Yes. <laughs> All right, All right, what's the last so one? So then, did you see it? I know it's pink. Uh, okay, so he doesn't know what the, that I picked this up, and so I just thought it's so for, super random. This one was only 50 cents, oh, so boy. you know it has to be good. Um, and, oh, somebody is coming. They like the other person's profile picture. Beautiful. Yeah, was that a, a cosplay outfit, or um, is it uh, like a, a Halloween costume? Oh, Bane. Yeah. There you go. Get this. That's a, that is a good costume over there. All Very right. Nice. Yeah, we got one pack I remember a while ago that was like fifty cents, and it was like yeah. Muppets playing NHL hockey. Yeah, it was weird. It's sports, and it was like nineteen ninety one. They had like the Hartford Whalers still in it. Oh okay. Oh, it's a MSB costume. All right, so bitter it's yes. What are we looking at right, All right now? So What's we got our final Adventures pack? in Toon World. So I don't 100% know what this is. I'm assuming it's different. It says featuring... Oh, it's um, it's the, the the movie, help me, with the Looney Tunes. Space Jam? Yeah, I think it's like Space Jam people. Featuring Michael Jordan, Wayne Gretzky, Joe Montana, and Reggie Jackson, and the Looney Tune characters. Really? With illustrations by Chuck, by Chuck Jones and Mort Drucker. Okay. So it's a limited 10 edition cards in each pack. <laughs> Every pack contains either a, quote, hair OS... Or a hologram insert card, and this is story two. Oh, I used to love hologram cards when I was a kid. Those were like the bomb. So now, apparently, there's like the cards in order make up a story. There's a story that happens. I don't know what the heck hair OS means. What is some kind of joke? I'm sure about heroes, um, probably heroes. Oh, but they're Bugs Bunny kind of. Right, probably. right. Now we're saying Funky Boys is saying this is Earth Funk. I don't know if this is not the same movie. Maybe it is something else they try to do with For Space what? Jam era. Oh. I just think it's not the same uh, movie, perhaps. Gotcha. Now, okay. What I'm curious so, about is, so, what? random little fun fact or, like, question. So you said some of the drawings are by Mort Drucker. Is oh, anybody... Adventures in Toon World card album. We have to hunt that down now. Oh, boy. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be There's doing. 90, I'm sorry, I keep cutting off. You 90 do. story cards, five hero cards, or hero is what we're assuming, and five hologram cards. Uh, I don't think we could still order these, but, you know. What year did this come out? It doesn't... Oh, wait, it's probably up here. 1993. Not oh, well, no, yeah, it's like a vintage card. Well, Well, yes. I was trying to make like, a joke about wine, but, you know. Oh. Um, but what, another thing we're doing on this uh, particular series uh, is, like, we actually bought a gigantic box of Super Mario Brothers the movie uh, cards mm -hmm. and a big sticker album, so we're opening those one at a time, so that's pretty random. Yeah, I'm trying to fill our... Well... Fill, no but gum? Not stick in, fill but not stick in the cards into the thing because I won't commit to pulling them off of the uh, of the little cards. I want to have like, a yeah. set. So this is weird. It's like a foil. The other ones are like plastic. So I thought that was kind of weird. All right. Here we All go. All right. So there's like little holograms in the corner. That's interesting. That is interesting too. Though. Oh, they're double-sided. Interesting. Huh. And they're not scenes in chronological order, which makes it even more confusing. So... Looney Tunes, not now, it's my lunch break. We mad scientists have a union, you know. This is Act 2, Scene 12. It's a little hard to know what's happening when you don't have the full story, but apparently we're going to learn it as, <laughs> as we, we go collect along. all of the... They didn't even... They only had two packs. 
in the thing. So oh I don't boy. think we're getting the full story. And we're only open one of them right now. So then Act 2, Scene 9, which is Does that mean you bought two? No comment. So uh, Bugs Bunny with some gentlemen. Well, I think the guy on the left is Wayne Gretzky. That's what it looks like. On the right, I'm not honestly sure. Look at that moon. Sure. That moon is angry. And he got a big old chin. Yes. So, so he's saying, Bugs Bunny saying, look out. And who is that? I don't know. Oh. But I know the other oh guy. Oh, boy, the funny too. stuff is starting already. I don't even know what's happening. But This is wonderful. Go. I know. This Hopefully this is more amusing to you. Act 2, scene 11. G-Boss, can you get them out? Of there and just see the moon with Donald Duck you know, and this guy. It's very well possible that one of our viewers right now mm -hmm. has been looking for, for one cards, of these cards forever. and now we're reading it and you're like, oh, I know what was missing in scene 43. Yes. Once again, Wayne Upper Gretzky. Deck yeah, that was a, a sports company that did a lot of sports oh, cards. Oh, so they also have their little logo on this. Act 2, scene 8. Gretzky hasn't changed much, though. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> what is going on? This is so weird. Why are they have two scenes on each card? Oh, get right, everybody. Michael Jordan's coming up in, in two cards, not to spoil oh, it. Oh, okay. You kind of spoiled it. I'm Act sorry. two, scene ten. Uh oh. Our ex our exit just exited. I guess that <laughs> they have lost uh the ship and there's like fish in their background. What is happening? I don't know, but Jordan's got some boobs in this next one. Right there. <laughs> oh. He's cross eyed. Uh one lazy eye, it looks like. All right, so okay, Act I love 2, this Scene picture. 7. Uh, hey, Joe. Look at him. Wait. You're a cartoon, and then so are you, and look at Michael. And he looks a little looks, confused. He looks like, He yeah. looks confused. And, and again, look at the, look at the chest. Testicles. That's, I, this again. one he looks normal in. Uh, Act 2, Scene 15. <laughs> I don't think this. LeBron James was playing when this came out. Uh, look at this. We can stretch. I'm ready to take on Michael in basketball. What is in... Bugs' like face. A carrot. He's no, but like he's carrot. not. It's like it's. It's like a cigarette. Because then those days it was okay to do Look that. Look at his eyes. They're all crazy eyed. He's looking up at his words. And, what and the there's heck? a fish still floating in the background. And the guys got stretched. I am so confused by this. Because they're in a cartoon world. And, and I teach elementary school, funky boys. Teach it all. All right. Act two, scene six. I don't understand. How are you supposed to read the story if the cards are like on the backs of each other and it's random cards on the back of each one? This is very, very bizarre. If anything, it makes sense. It was like scene one followed by scene two on the back. Don't you think? Yeah. Anyway, no. Let's see. Um, The guys on the left was funky boys. Why is there a sun inside? I think it was a moon, but yeah, it is very bright. Yeah. I don't. I don't. It does look. It's these. yellow. I mean, maybe it could be a sun. I guess it could be a sun. I don't know. These are. These are like classical minstrels. What does that mean? I don't know, but these are terrible. <laughs> Terribly awesome. No, no, just terrible. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We saw that one already. We saw that one, right? We saw both of these. Yeah, we did. I showed this one where they're like, "Oof, whoa, watch that first step," and they're going through some <laughs> kind of door into Cartoon World. All right. There's it, a lot of these. We're halfway through, people. All right. Act two, scene 14. She won't let me grab the tune. The tune has turned you into cartoons and placed you in a cartoon world. Cartoon world? No kidding. This, this artwork to... is, like, scary looking. I mean, no offense. It's probably better I can do, but I'm just saying. These are supposed to be professionals. All right. This way, guys. That's that's the one right before they walk through the doorway and they <gasps> say, oof. We have connected now. That's so exciting. Wait, let's yeah. see if... Yeah, like, how does this work? I don't understand. Oh, look it, though. So these are scene five and six, and then you turn them over, and they are... So maybe there's a certain number of cards, and then you what, flip them all over, and it's like a cartoon book, and you flip them over. This is like a puzzle, a confusing puzzle. I don't know. I... Yeah. Four more to go, people. Hang in there. Act two, scene 13. This ought to be an illuminating diversion. Hey, Bugs, where are we? So... Look at that, Jordan! What is he's like? What is going on with his shirts? <laughs> his stomach. I don't know. I don't know. These are terrible. Um, scene two. Uh, I'm sorry. Act two, scene four. Oh, this this one makes it even worse. What's Bugs it? Bugs is upside down. And it's, it's so though, hard to like. He's looking probably at some kind of camera, and you know, or he's talking at these to cards. Donald. <laughs> yeah, being confused. It's a card book. Very true. <laughs> How much do I have to donate to get one of these signed by you two? 
Oh, you know what? Um, I think like I'd be okay with uh, doing what? Like I would do five bucks shipped because then we had the postage and we could buy a pack of cards to show off again for you guys. Ooh. Um, burn them. We can't burn them. For These five are bucks, <laughs> we'll burn them. <laughs> burn one. Set it on fire. He looks like he broke out of jail. <laughs> Which one? Him? Oh, because it looks like a, a orange like a jumpsuit. Jumper. You're yeah. right. You're right. All right. So, oops, looks like you got one more bug oh in God. it. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. hey. Everybody, it's I joke, see the one it? ahead of this. And I don't like, get it. Looks like you got one more bugs in it. Oh, like uh, the maybe bug a in the computer bug? Yes. Oh, that's hilarious. Good job, Daffy. <laughs> and it says Acme Toon Minator converts human beings into cartoon characters. Even an idiot can do it in tiny, tiny print in the bottom. So, Wait, is wait, the wait, premise wait. of this that these Looney Tunes are turning into sports heroes? No, the sports heroes are turning into... What? The sports heroes are turning into ca cartoons. Well, you're right. You're right. I got you. Yeah, it's because they're illustrated. All right. What Act in the see? world is Wayne Gretzky holding? Is that supposed to be a Look puck? at that guy's face. No, he smushed his face. Nope, doesn't hurt. Where'd that come from? Acme Products, of course. What is that? Oh, it's a pan. It's a frying pan. He slapped the other guy with the frying pan, obviously. And he enjoyed Obviously. it. Obviously. Um, let's see. How do I donate? Uh, we don't have anything set up to donate, really. But we do PayPal and um, Venmo. Did we ever post? Can you just buy it on our store? Uh, we can set it up on our store. We we don't have we don't have these cards selling right now on yeah. our store, but we could set it up. <laughs> but um, we could. But did we actually ever what? post something about, you know, as far as the donation for? Oh, for, uh, no, we didn't actually. So there's a, we have a, our Facebook page. Actually, I didn't put it on the New York Nerds show page. I put it on the store page. Right. Okay. But, uh, uh, a good, uh, the guy who used to be our manager for our store when we had a brick and mortar store and, um, a good friend and actually he's related to Pat. Yeah. Um, but his, uh, son passed away two weeks before his 18th birthday from a brain aneurysm. So we did post up, um, their GoFundMe site to uh help them pay for their um you know their funeral and all those costs and obviously not to be a downer yeah but yeah. i mean he's he's a good guy his family obviously it's like came out of nowhere so it's really sad yeah um but he used to be our manager so if you ever happen to have been at our store our physical store uh he was the manager for quite some time um so anyway but yeah that's on the gizmos page though so uh you can check out our facebook page um, and then here, let's see. You want to show this one? Oh, of course I do. Come on, Daffy. Let's get the boys out of here. Idiot. It isn't ready yet. It still has a few bugs in it. Same joke. It's better the second time. That probably might go to the one with him being stuck in it, though. Mm. And then, wait. Oh, that's you probably already, already showed. showed. Yeah, yeah you already showed the frying pan face. I'm like, that's weird. So then this one, oh, this oh, is the pre one. Oh right boy. Before. Oh boy. Here you go, everybody. Yes. Bam. Back to back. Good job. Yes. So let's try it. Splat. Amazing. And then violence. <laughs> that was like normal back in the day, the violence. I mean, well, totally we always was. talk about what? Roadrunner and uh, Coyote and Roadrunner. And yeah, why like, are the Coyote and the Roadrunner? Like really bad violence. Like, uh, so bad. <laughs> the artwork is really what gets me. All right, act two, scene two. You fool! What have you done? Of course, it's, of course, it's Daffy's fault. I just warned you, or oh no, I just wangled. I just wangled your four top athletes to act in your cartoon machine for free. Wangled? It's because he can't say wrangled. I don't know. I presume. I say wangled all the yes. time. Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> um. All right. So then we got. <laughs> Oh, two more to go. Oh, oh we got a oh, we got a special oh, card coming. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait for second it. to last one. All right, Act Two, Scene Sixteen. You can do all sports, all sorts of wacky things, and the nice thing is you can't get hurt. I hope. I hope. And so there's the weird arm, and I'm sure this is right before the frying pan because he has a frying pan tree. A tree of, of frying pan. Yes. yes. So, oh, Act Two, Scene One. We got the very first card. Oh Cartoon man. World. We could put this together. So exciting. Yes. And then here's our special oh, man. holographic oh, Yosemite Sam. Yosemite Sam. What, what happened to my golden pistols? Oh, they're carrots. Okay, I like and he's it. He's with Wayne Gretzky. 
who is really, really liking this. Look at that fancy card. <laughs> what a way to Oh, it's end. like 3D, actually, if yeah, you see it in person. I couldn't see that from the screen. So, yes. We got uh, yeah, exactly. Happy That's... Halloween. Happy Halloween, DJ Silence. Thanks for stopping by. Um, <laughs> How do I get Super Hazard World? Oh, like Super Hazard Quest card game? Uh, we do have that on our website, we, gizmosny.com. Well, we didn't. We have it that you have to email us. Uh, yeah. There's a contact sheet there, so if you want it, it's a great game. Yeah. Uh, we didn't. We did a. We did talk about it during our basically two day long streaming. Yep. Um, but yeah, that's a great card uh, card game, and you can learn about it. And um, yeah, so, we work directly with the guys who make that to sell that. So if you want it, this uh, do the contact form uh, on the website. Or on Facebook, and then we can uh, send you a PayPal. But yeah, we definitely love that game. That's yeah. a it's a good time. And if you like like retro games, it's like a board game that has such a retro game feel. It's it's really fun. Yeah, it's thirty dollars for the base game, and then there's booster packs that go into that expand it for like maybe like uh -huh. uh, adding more worlds, adding more um, you know weapons. There's a uh, one player mode. And each of the bases are five dollars. You know the the expansions, I should say. So, but for thirty bucks alone for the main one, it's it, again not just because we sell it, we care it because we fell in love with the game and the guys. Yeah, because we had it. a good time. Yeah. So we now have like I guess twenty cards because each card has two sides. Right. Does it say how many there are total? It did. I said it earlier, and I don't remember what I said. I think they said a hundred. So I'll we're like the way one. There. No, we're a tenth because we have two sides. No. Yeah. But if there's 20 of them. If there's 20 what? If there's 20 total, if there's 100 total scenes, mm -hmm. we have 20 total scenes right now. It's one fifth. I hope I'm right. No, it's 20%. Yes. One fifth is 20%. Oh, okay. Maybe. I don't know. I got confused. I'm sorry. It's all good. Uh, well, anyway, so this is our Adventures in Tune World. So we do have a second pack that we will open some other time. Cause spoilers. This was, uh, this was a lot. A lot to deal with. Yes, it was. But if you want to try to send a check or money order for $6, you can send it to St. Louis, Missouri, and include a 3 by 5 card with your name and address where you would like the album sent. Oh, that's the, the card album. I got to look that up. I mean, I don't want it really, Do but I kind of <laughs> want it. I, it can't be worth a lot, right? I can't imagine. Imagine if these cars are. No, no, not our boss. Um, Our boss's uh, son. Yeah, his, well, <laughs> he wasn't our boss, but our no, manager, true, true. the manager of the store, his son passed away. Um, so we were doing, uh, we shared their GoFundMe. Yeah. So yeah, and then um, let's see, get a signed card for only five dollars. Yes, definitely. And we'll both sign it. So it's well, like, he said so. You guys can sign it. I know. What does that mean? One of us randomly would sign I'm it. I'm trying to make sure that they understand how much of a deal it is. Yes. Two fifty for each autograph. I mean, come on. Yes. Gretzky won't sign it for that little. Yes. So on the Facebook page for Gizmos Video Games and Wrestling, it has the um the GoFundMe that had the whole story of what happened, but uh he had a brain aneurysm. So very unexpected. He was only seventeen. Um very sad. Right. But <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's I like, just, it's like yeah, yeah and Unfortunately, part of why uh, the manager actually left the store is that him and his family moved to the other side of the U.S. Basically, he moved to the Midwest, and we're in New York, hence New York nerds. Um, so it's really unfortunate with like the pandemic and stuff. We can't right. even like visit and be there for you know, with them to you know at this time of mourning and stuff. So it's really unfortunate, and you know I feel terrible for like everybody who's kind of going through some of this stuff right now with things, but. Um, right. Yeah. So we're just trying to be there for him how we can, um, him and his family really, you know, uh, and, and we wanted to share that, um, the GoFundMe because, you know, when it's an unexpected thing, obviously, you know, it's always nice to try to help somebody out, um, when they're in a tough situation. Well, maybe, uh, and also too, like we're going to be selling art prints. Yeah. He um, used to make art prints for, well, he still 
that like he has art prints. He used to do canvases and we turned them into art prints. And so it, we used to do like a commission or we still do a commission or whatever. So we're going to actually uh, post up the art prints and all the proceeds will just go to him and his family instead yep. of us getting any kind of commission through the store. Right. Um, and then that way, you know, we just, again, we're trying to think of ways to kind of help them out right now. And his yep. artwork is really cool. Oh um, yeah. You might've seen it in some of our, in our, in our uh, room. Quite yeah, honestly, we had a couple game. things that he did, and then we also posted them up like when we did our two day long uh video game convention. Yep. So we'll have to um, yeah, do a video of that maybe uh tomorrow or Monday. You know, we can do that um and just show some of the prints. They're really cool. I mean, he yeah. does. He did. He used to do like um commission artwork, and then he would just sell the prints in addition. Um, and then he would do like just stuff he was into like he liked pokemon so there's some really cool prints and he has some like like funky versions of um what's the one that bowser there's one of bowser that like so creepy or whatever and i was just, like this is like crazy i, I yeah. was so impressed by the, the his artwork he has um, some wrestling ones as well so but yeah maybe we can do something tomorrow like you said like just yeah. kind of like make sure they're posted and go from there yeah and put them up so right. yeah, we just want to, you know, like I said, just help them out. And, how we and can. yeah, what the, uh, what the smack we do have a YouTube channel. It's actually this basically, you know, the, the New York nerd show. Yeah. Um, and if you just, if you look on, uh, I think it might be even a link at Howard, you know, but it's basically New York nerd show is our, um, yeah, the handle, our for handle everything. basically. Yeah. yeah. Cause we're on Facebook, um, we're on Twitch. Twitch and then YouTube. So yep. feel free to, uh, like subscribe and like, and all those different things. Cause actually the way that we now are streaming it with the live stream right now, we're on all those channels at the same the time. time yep. Um, and it just posts up. So like right now, uh, you guys are happen to both be on Twitch that are talking, but yep. if somebody posted like a comment or whatever on Facebook, we could even share that in. And so you'd be able to see like what people, people are saying and they can right. see when we share your comments on the page, on the screen, like people that are on, um, yeah, YouTube thank or you. Facebook are on there. So yeah. Awesome. Oh, we got somebody on YouTube right now. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, so again, guys, you know, uh, we have a regular show every Tuesday at 8 o'clock. It's a wrestling-themed video game show. Right uh, now we're doing... Um, well, this... No, I know, but we oh. normally we're doing Battlegrounds, which is a new game. I don't know if you still have... So then he just like, I, pulls, I think I just put it pulls on the, the game off to yeah, show like, it, but hey. it's a newer game that just came out. Um, it's very, like, cartoony looking. I don't know how to describe it other than, like, it. Like we were saying, they probably made it for a phone app. Yeah. And they just like put it on the console. It's cheaper than normal or whatever. So yeah. it's fun though. I like it. Yeah. And then, um, then that we've been doing like, uh, Royal Rumble for riches. Is yeah. Royal Rumble it? for riches. It's like a theme battle Royal, like WWF, uh, Royal Rumble game, basically. Yeah. And, usually uh, like 20 people in the ring and then who like we commentate and then the computer plays, but you know, he has a lot of background and knowledge about wrestling and I just, comment on random things because i'm not as knowledgeable about wrestling right. but then uh during the battleground he's actually been playing because they don't allow you to play it that way but next tuesday in what three days we're gonna yep. go back to the old school Woo. royal rumble uh for riches format that we were doing um which is a little easier for me because i'm like i don't know any of the moves and he's playing so it's hard for him to like talk and play so yeah. it's just me like winging it if you look at some of the old Twitches, you might be able to still find some of the old Royal Rumble for Riches. But this uh, Tuesday at 8, it's going to be... A new uh, one, yeah. Yeah, Masks and Make a Petition. Oh, yeah, for Halloween. Yeah, for right. uh, Halloween, it's basically going to be like 20 different wrestlers that either have well-known face paint or masks, as the title would imply. Mm -hmm. But it's we try to have a lot of fun with it. And like I said, it's yeah. all random. Um, we have like storylines that come up out of it just out of the blue. But um, like, like Bitter Rich was just saying, like she might not know a lot about the actual wrestling itself, mm -hmm. but we just like... Some of it's actually legit. A lot of it's just like made up nonsense. So yes. Um. But yeah, eight o'clock on Tuesdays. Oh. Have you ever played Adventures of Captain Spirit? I have not. What have system not. is that on? Um. And then hello to I don't even know how to pronounce that. Dwub 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 dwub. Um. <laughs> hello. And, and we have a request for flossing. Um. I agree with flossing. Arms. I actually did it this morning. Um. You got to keep those teeth clean. Yes. Or we talk about the I games. actually yeah. don't use floss. I uh, use a uh, water pick. But, or the dance. Maybe that's you can what floss. I mean. I like don't the, know how to floss. I don't even know what that How does it go? That, it's that like, I can't do it while I'm sitting down. You oh, that do, thing? Yeah, like one well, in the back, one know. in the I've back. Yeah, I, I'm, um, I'm sure I look great just doing that right now. Well. 
So we I got need to shave this right. mustache. Eh? I'm I am I'm ready to let that go. I think I'm gonna try out a Wednesday setup since uh you know I chose Morticia over Wednesday since I got some feedback. Oh, yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday, like, Wednesday we're doing on Tuesday. No, so but confused. I want to like see what it looks like with Wednesday. So I'm gonna take the red lipstick off and then just have normal <laughs> shave stream. Yes, lips, and then yeah, you can do shaving live. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just your mustache though, not your eyebrows. Inside joke. Mm. We had a uh, we had a friend do the other night. Uh, he shaved basic, his eyebrows yeah. on our on our Zoom call because we were, playing, bucks. we were playing this card game that uh, we have to review later. Um, and yeah, he ended up getting 200 bucks. It escalated quite quickly. He, he walked away for a second and then came back with no eyebrows. N didn't even have the money in hand. And I was like, what are you doing? You need the money in hand. But anyway, that's a, when we review the game, we will give that full. You got, you got the, uh, we'll share photos perhaps too. Uh, yeah, maybe to like, block out his eyes and just exactly. see him, no well, eyebrows. Just, just see a forehead with no hair, <laughs> right? But anyway, so um, yeah, we'll have to talk about that card game because that was quite, that was crazy. Yeah, anyway, it's so, um, poor choices or something, right? Is that what it's called? Yeah, bad choices bad is called. Choices, so yeah. yeah, we'll have to uh, talk about that one. Oh, Xbox One is what, yeah, you'll have to check this out. Now, was that a platform or anything? The Adventure of Captain Spirit? Because you like platformers. No, I I'm do. not asking you, I'm asking wow. what the schmeck um and then uh i think maybe you should just shave stream and <laughs> see if you can raise 208 dollars plus Let's i think somebody see. else sent him 25 bucks after um so why would it be weird to be wednesday with the dad i i had some friends well. say, so he said i was overthinking it but i was like oh i think about being wednesday would you like to be uncle fester or something maybe but then we were like oh then you have to get a bald cap that's a pain and um, I don't know why Pugsley never came up, because I would have thought you would have maybe been into Pugsley. But he was like, oh, I'll be Gomez. And I'm like, don't you think it's kind of weird, because I'd be the daughter? And then he said I was overthinking it. I posted on Facebook. I got some mixed comments of, you're totally overthinking it, and other people saying, no, that's super creepy. Like, you can't be a couple and then be in a mom, or I'm not, a dad and a daughter scenario or whatever. Or right. even, they, they were like, Fester would be less creepy, but still creepy. So I was like, I guess I'll just be Morticia then. Right. Which luckily, I already had the dress because if I didn't have the dress, well, I would have been like, screw it, I'm going to be Wednesday because I'm not buying a new costume. Well, that's what it boiled down to. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I've owned this suit coat, I mm -hmm. own this bow tie, this shirt. All I had to do was grow a mustache. Pugsley would have required, like, you know, buying a shirt. Yeah. Wouldn't have been hard, but just finding the right well, shirt the bow, for Pugsley. I'm a little disappointed that we don't have a black bow tie because I'm, I looked up uh, pictures and he had a black bow tie. And I'm a little bit of a stickler when it comes to costuming but People might the red know. is still like matches with the red lips i guess right so it's all good well and again this probably is part of the reason why people <laughs> thought i was slappy from goosebumps or perhaps jigsaw <laughs> all right and then but we got a call to shave the eyebrows but i don't think that's happening i'm sorry unless you send him no, uh about you me no uh what was it he got 208 bucks <laughs> yeah double it at least <laughs> Oh, he knew that. You should have oh, called man. him out on it. Because I was like, oh, I should. It was too late. I couldn't buy one in time. Right. Ah, yeah, you look like the Vitrilicus dummy with the red. That's you what just I mean. Do those little two black lines. And yeah. then you'd be like, totally set. Well, so you have next year's costume. You can be the Vitrilicus dummy. Or, or I can just do a uh, a Goosebumps unit with my students. Yes. And be like, if yes. you, if you do well. I actually had a question up here, and I did. I forgot to share it or whatever you are about what, asking what about teach. something with your students. Yeah, well, no, uh, like, did you share something with your students? Uh, oh, the cards. Oh. They want to know if I shared the cards with my students. I think it's what they said, but um, but either way. Either way, yes. Why don't we end with showing off the full family here? Why don't you grab the cranky puppy? Well, where's... uh? I have it right here. All right. So here we go. Come here, cranky puppy. Uh, no, I, I was... missed this comment. Uh, uh, no comment. Yeah. <laughs> So, he, he's the ball and chain right here. How about yes. that? That might even sound weird, but, you know. The puppy. No, he's good. All right. So, let's see. We got his little hat. All right, this he loves hat. costumes. Let me oh, tell you. you. I got to post up this picture with his new raincoat, which he actually enjoyed running around in. And and, there, right. and there's thing. No bot. We have box. For well, we have the box over but... there, but, I'm, you know. All right. All right. Well, with that, Thanks on the count of three. Us. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, we got on time. Have a good night. All right. See you guys later.